the end of the 20th century. Debris in space and perennial philosophy seem to me but asterisked footnotes orbiting in the dark disease of knowledge. Professors of the law and nomadic billiard balls go bumping down dim corridors, cracking codes, and caroming into elevators of truth. Seagulls outside circle far from the sea. The man in the tower shines his beacon over repetitious rocks on the repetitious sea. Shadows fall, but the sun rages at edge of day day after dark day, crouching in its cage, numb claws grasping at skin and blood. The scientific method measures height and width and height and width again, but the scientist grows weary at his post and postulates his way to the dark side of the moon to sleep among masked hordes of bestial initiates in a cosmic dream dance of unrequited love. A woman sits rocking, stitching and unstitching the hem of the wedding gown of the ages, the longer and shorter, the abacus of infinity, the swinging sickle, the prolonged postponement. The sky is a terrible pavement where brakes fail, where any moment you might begin to slide. The treadmill turns and the scroll of wisdom unravels into the night on self-recoiling springs until the wreckage is scattered in your sleep and you wake drowning in dreams of circular arguments swirling in the nightmare of morning of another day. In perpetual gradation of light and dark you pause and try to put your finger on the shifting sore where time takes a breath to gather its wrath. Driftwood corpses pile up on the shore. You crawl there, smelling the salt air, asking alms for the poor, asking the dead for a nickel, for a dime, for the end of time.